So, before we get into this, let me just say, I am sorry, girl. I am sorry if this hits home for you, but somebody had to say it. Somebody had to say it. What's good, girlies? Welcome back to the back, to the back, to the back, to the back, to another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am Natasha J. So if you read the title, which if you click this video, then you have read the title. Obviously, you know that this is another Exiting Your Lazy Girl Era video, but this time we are covering habits that you need to get rid of. In my previous video, I did talk about habits that you need so that you can exit, but girl, but girl, first we need to understand the root okay we need to know what habits we already have that we need to do away with so that we can make room for new improved and healthy habits with that being said let's get into it girl let's get into it girl and quick disclaimer some of these habits also can lead to laziness but regardless it's time for us to get out it's time for us to go let's exit right now right now Number one is stop getting on your phone first thing in the morning. This is going to keep you in bed a little longer than you should be. Let's really think about it. If your phone wasn't in your reach, if you didn't have it sitting on your nightstand, you would have probably got out of bed right away and started your day. Number two is stop sleeping in late. Do you know how many tasks you can actually accomplish if you wake up early? There is a few of us complaining about not getting things done, but you're waking up at three o'clock, sis. Literally, when I wake up early, I'll be halfway through my to-do list before my friends even open their eyes. This also opens up more time for me to focus on myself, do the things that I love because I got my work out the way. I got my priorities done early. Next habit that you need to get rid of is something that we've been talking about a lot. And I actually have a specific video on this. It is stop procrastinating. Stop waiting to last minute to get things done. As I told y'all before, it's like a whole procrastination apocalypse out here. Everybody waiting to the last minute. But y'all know what they say, early bird gets the worm. Y'all, we have to be mindful that the habits that we establish now are going to carry us for a lifetime. So even though some things may not be impacting you extremely now, in the future, it can literally get bad. It can hold you captive and hold you back from so many opportunities. Next tip is stop counting yourself out. If you mentally say you cannot do it or this is not for you or this won't work, before you even begin, you have already put yourself in a complacent state and in a place not to win. This right here leads to extreme laziness because this will stop you from even trying. This can easily hinder your progression, easily hinder your growth. And then we wonder why we're not accomplishing things. It's because we already said we wouldn't. We have already decided that this is something that we can't win. Next is refusing change. Girl, 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 girl. Things are always changing. Life is always changing. And if you're not able to adapt, if you're not comfortable with being uncomfortable or changing as life changes, you're going to get left behind. One of the habits of highly successful people is being able to adapt and being able to flow with change. Now, this next tip, y'all, I'm real bad for it, okay? Like, I do this all the time and I am working on it because there is power in the tongue okay and sometimes my mom just be stop complaining about being bored or tired if you're not willing to change it I truly don't believe in the phrase I have nothing to do why because there is literally always something for us to do whether it's simply writing down your thoughts writing down future goals writing down your 10-year goals your 20-year goals revising your current goals or literally just thinking about how you can be better as a person there is no excuses if you're saying things like you are too tired you are already counting yourself out and saying that you are incapable of being productive today saying things like you are bored is such a lazy statement because there's always something that you can do internally to work on personal growth the next tip is neglecting self-care and self-love. When you practice self-care and when you practice self-love, you can literally instill self-motivation, self-validation, productivity, all of those things into yourself. So when you remove that out of the equation, girl, you know what that leads to? Laziness. And that's the era we're trying to exit, not enter. With that being said, you have to make sure you're pouring into yourself so that you can become your best self. Last but not least, always taking the easy way out, girl. If you're always taking the path that is easy, then when things get hard or the only pathway that is available is the challenging one, how will you survive? What will you do then? 
that's exactly what i said yeah this is why we friends because we get each other girl sometimes you have to look at the challenge say you're ready for it and look at the lesson that you need to learn from it and use it as an opportunity to grow period point blank so yeah what happened was i thought i was done but i do have one more tip for you guys you know i throw this in every video because god is that good pray 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 if you want to exit your lazy girl era ask god for the strength to exit that era ask him for the motivation the discipline whatever you need god will give it to you and pretty soon you will look back and be like girl that was me but that is all your girl has for you today i love you guys so so much if you have any tips that you want to share with us or habits that you feel like we need to get rid of please leave them below in the comment section i do respond to all of my comments and i love chatting with y'all but go ahead like subscribe and comment we are on the road to 1k and we will definitely get there thank you for all your support i'll see you on my next one bye